Whether it's the star from Grandma's Tree or a hand-carved nativity scene, so many special memories can be tied to our family Christmas decor. And here to show us a new way to display them is the man who knows how to do it is Ken. And I'm telling you right now, he's going to surprise us with these. We all have those. We all have those treasures and might have been sitting in boxes. But I was really inspired by the Hallmark movies and mystery True. movie Nostalgia Christmas, right. um, which has Brooke Dorsey and Trevor Donovan, um, who's going to be here tomorrow. Yes, and Brooke oh. is going to be here later in oh, the week, exciting. everybody. I know. It, it's a great movie. So Brooke plays a character, Anne, and she's going home to a little small town in Maine. Um, it's a little bit bittersweet because her father is selling their toy shop and retiring from the hand carved wood toy business. But bright spot, she gets to work with Keith, the co-chair of the town's Christmas celebration. So as Keith starts to bring up sort of thoughts like, what's more important, that fast-paced life in New York or that life full of memories back in Oh, Maine? I have an answer. I have an answer. Oh, you, an answer. but you don't know. Okay. You don't know. All right. It's a great movie. It's a great movie. It but is. The, the movie is so inspiring. Here, we have a clip of it. You just have to see how beautiful it is. A homecoming to remember. I haven't seen those in years. <laughs> I hear the stores closing down soon. And maybe. Came back here and I saw the shop and this town. Of course. A reason to stay. That always says anything's possible at Christmas. Brooke Dorsey and Trevor Donovan star. I don't know what to say. So you'll stay. Nostalgia Christmas. Only on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Stay, you'll stay. Regardless Come of on. the story, the story is great, but just that toy shop and the town and all those beautiful things. It's really such a beautiful, me. it's just a visual movie, yeah. too. It's gorgeous, and it ties into what we're doing here today. Exactly. Okay, so you've got a few ways. The trick is to get them out of those boxes and to display them not in the china cupboard, not in ways that make them look old-fashioned. You want to make them look current, and that's the tricky part, making those nostalgic things look modern and of today. And that's why I said that you surprised me the way that you've kind of uh, displayed these because I wouldn't have thought of so many of these. Let's start with these great Let's old start ornaments. with the ornaments. Some of my favorite things at Christmas are these The old hand-blown painted. They're very fragile. I don't put mine on the tree anymore. Um, but what about putting them on the wall as wall art? I mean, look how great that looks. So all I've done here is got an old window frame okay. with a screen in it. If you don't have one, you can easily put together a frame yourself and buy screen and staple it to the back. And then all you're doing is hanging the ornaments. Here, I've got one right here. I'm gonna hang right at the bottom okay. here to make our little trunk. And you just put that hook right through the screen. And there you are, safe and sound. You see how can smart the tall that man is, put the, put the star the on the tree here. there? Sure. Let's see how I do here. And the there stars you go. on the top. So all of a sudden, they're really highlighted. You don't have to worry about them falling off of a branch. And look at that. Absolutely gorgeous, modern, and new. I am kind of crazy about this. Like, I really do. You actually generally I love, love it. I, love I, it. I really want to make this myself. Okay, so now a lot of us have some of these uh, Christmas figures right. around the we house. We have a plastic right. Santa that has sure. been around the house, and everyone steals it from year to year. So <laughs> what I've done is I've gotten a, a collection of bright cubes. And what this is going to do is make things look a little bit more modern. Okay. Instead of, I said, you don't want to display these on sort of grandmother's china cupboard. Yeah. And then I'm going to start to put the actual Santas on. Okay, should the, I hand these to you? Yeah, start handing them to me. Any particular order no. you're looking for? And really, that's going to start to really frame them so you can actually start to enjoy and see the Santas, and they're not sort of all cluttered and sort of disappearing. The modernness kind of frames them and really makes each one stand out on its own. I mean, you're so good at this. Look how great this looks, everybody. Well, it's really a matter of sort of taking those things and, whoopsie, and sort of highlighting them so they can become. You got one plugged in there for a little extra plugged pop. in, and we've replaced our lamp with the big guy here. So, voila, all of a sudden, you've got a sort of whole different sort of modern vintage sandwich. And this fan. one typically would go outside, so you've brought them inside. I like bringing them inside as, and oh, using so them good. actual as light. Look how good that looks. So, super fun, but yes. you don't have to do it with things that are standard like that. Well, this is where I, my mind really gets kind of blown because this is something I definitely would have thought of. And honestly, <laughs> not necessarily even that, I don't know, attractive looking until you kind of finesse it a little bit. Spray snow. I grew up with spray snow. Lots of memories. I found some old cans on eBay. But it's the cans of the, the old spray vintage snow. cans. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I've got yeah. a shadow box here. Good. I made sure that the shadow box was deep enough to fit the can. I'm going to put some cotton batting here that's going to give us a background to look like snow. Got it. Then I'm going to get some green garland, just inexpensive garland from the craft store, and I'm going to curl it up right here in the middle. Now, it's going to be bigger than you need, so I'm just okay. going to go through. 
And this, you don't have to buy the super expensive garland. This is the cheap stuff. I was just going to say, typically garland can be a little pricey. So obviously, this we're not cutting off the, uh, the pricey stuff. Exactly. And then, because it is spray snow, you want to bring some of that look. So I'm going to get some modern spray snow. There you go. And I'm just going to give it a good, heavy frosting right in the middle. I of like the dimension that this brings it to. Obviously, Shadow Box allows that dimension. I'm going to tuck our little can of snow right there and then tuck it right into the box. So amazing how something so mundane when framed correctly can look absolutely magical. And all I'm doing is replacing our standard decor in a checkerboard fashion. And to set it off, I found the old stencils that went with it for your windows. What? And added that. Even it. just like the instruction manual for that or whatever that part of the box. You put anything in a shadow box, it looked like a million bucks. Ken, you've done it again. <laughs> well you, done, my friend. Make sure to visit HallmarkChannel.com for the full instructions. And don't forget to catch Nostalgia Christmas on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries Thursday at 9 p.m. 8 Central. Check it out, everybody.